what is up gemini's how you guys doing i am tiff welcome back if you're new welcome i enjoyed my weekend this is going to be a monthly for you guys okay i just want to say thanks for all the love and support if this resonates hit that like button hit that subscribe button this is going to be for gemini sun moon rising and venus it's not going to resonate for everybody as it is general take what resonates leave what doesn't if you would like a personal all my information is in the description box i'm not running the special anymore guys because it's not my birthday month anymore but all that information is in the description box okay guys let's go gemini um whenever i do as you know whenever i do a sign it's gonna be you versus them take it reverse it if you feel like you're the other person okay this is the month of august spirit ancestors and guides what is gemini's overall energy for august let's see what is gemini gonna be going through for august too many spirit none of them slip let's go gemini spirit self be who you are as you are okay this is you stepping into your own skin and being yourself regardless of who it hurts regardless of who doesn't like it regardless of who judges you it's like you stepping into your true self gemini and that is beautiful for the month of august you are standing in your power okay you are being your genuine self and loving you and i feel like people around you are going to be loving you gemini they're going to be seeing this personality shift where it's like hell i ain't gotta fake it to make it for nobody it's like you're at the point where you're not faking it to make it for no motherfucking body you are coming as you are i feel like you if somebody's trying to like judge you or control you or try to tell you like how you should live your life or what you should be doing you know what i'm saying it's like take me as i am like if you're in a relationship and they're trying to like make you change or it's like you know what i am who i am either you're gonna take me for who i am or you can get to step in because i don't gotta sit here and deal with this bullshit you know what i'm saying i am me love me for me or go you know because a lot of times in relationships we try to change ourselves and we try to be something we're not you know to because we love our partner and we want to make them happy but at the same time fuck that who's making you happy right gemini so it's like it's you like this time it's like hell no if you love me you love me for me i'm not changing for nobody it's time for you to show me that you care for me that's kind of what this is. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell no. Love me, love me, or, or leave me. Period. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Gemini's overall energy towards their person for the month of August, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Let's see for Gemini spirit. What do we got? Appreciation. Okay. So, let me get one more. Angel of Balance. I feel like you really balance your person out, Gemini, okay? And this person appreciates you very, very much for that. It's like, if this person didn't quite appreciate you in the past, when you start sticking up for yourself and you're like, hell, if you don't, like, it's like your self-worth and your self-respect makes you even more genuine like makes this person love you even more makes you more attractive you know what i'm saying and it's like when you're like no nah, i'm not finna fucking change i'm not finna be like conform to act like you or what you want and you want i am being me you know what i'm saying that is like that makes this person look at you with this level of appreciation with love i feel like you're very balanced even though when people like because people will be like damn she knows what she wants she knows what she ne deserves you know what and she's not taking any less and i feel like you're finally coming to a place of balance where you know what you deserve you know what you what you what you want out of life and you're not going to take any bullshit that comes along with it right appreciate me and love me and bring my peace or get out you know what i'm saying if you ain't here to bring balance and harmony into my life if you're here to stir shit up then you can go if you can't appreciate me for the woman that i am and everything that i have to offer then you can go because i am trying to balance myself out i want peace right i feel like if you are yeah yeah let's see Gemini's person spirit. Gemini's person. We have the thinking man and the third chakra. 
Okay, so this person is having anxiety as fuck over you. Okay, there could have been an ending with that 10 up, up, up top. There could have been an ending between you and this person where you were like, look, um, if you can't be on my level, if you can't accept me, if you can't, like, it's like that type of thing where if you, if you don't want to do this, then you can go. I'm done with the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And there might have been some kind of separation because you weren't being appreciated. You, there is no balance. Everything is just kind of like up in the air, chaotic. And it was like, I want peace for myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not finna change or fake it to make it for you. And what happened is that this person is now thinking about you. You're constantly on this person's mind, Gemini. They're anxious as fuck. They're worried, right? Because it's like you're standing in your power and now it's this person is scared. They're scared that they're going to lose you for good. They're scared that they're not going to have you for good, right? And they're thinking about it. They know you're very fragile, okay? They know that if they've hurt you in the past, that this relationship is very, it's on thin ice, okay? And it's almost to that breaking point. Right now, the connection is in a very fragile state, right? And they know this. So they're thinking about this. They're worried about this. You're constantly on this person's mind, okay? You could have children with this person, Gemini, with that you know, the little ball of light around the stomach, but it's like, you want peace. You know, you want to be appreciated. You want to be loved and you want to be loved for who you are. You know what I'm saying? And if this person can't do that, then it's, I feel like you might've separated from them for a little while. And now this person's nervous. Now this person's worried. Now they are scared that you might be moving on. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, spirit, Look, Journey, they're scared that you might be moving on, packing your bags and taking that trip, uh, moving away from them. How is Gemini feeling at this time, spirit, ancestors, and guys? Gemini, failure. So I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So it's like you might have put your all into this person, Gemini. And it's like, this person still hurt you. They still didn't accept you. And sometimes it might eat at your self-esteem a little bit. Like, what the fuck? Like, why? Because it's definitely to do with you being yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that. You're standing in your power now. And it's like, you feel like you put your all, your all into the wrong things. And that's where the mistake is the opportunity to learn, okay? It's like sometimes you're sitting here saying, I should have never even dealt with this person. You know, why do I even do this to myself? And But this is a learning experience for you. Whatever this person put you through, Gemini, this is a learning experience for you, okay? And this is to help balance yourself out. This is an experience for your self-love, okay? Never look at all the negatives in a situation. Look at the positives that can come out of it, right? But you're feeling, you know, it's like you feel like a failure. Sometimes you think you could have done more or maybe if I would have just done this. No, no. Continue to be your genuine, authentic self because the right person is going to love you for you. You don't have to be something you're not in order for somebody to love you, right? You're not a failure. Dealing with this person's not a mistake. You didn't make no mistakes. You couldn't have done things any differently. Don't think like that. Your person could even tell you that you never appreciated them and that they did all this and that for you and maybe you should have appreciated them more and shit like that, okay? And it's like, um, so maybe that's where you kind of weigh in on yourself. Like, maybe I could have been more this or this. No, okay? No. You did what you were supposed to, okay? Um, we have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So it's like you still love this person. You do want to be with this person. But it's like you have to make a decision between like peace and balance and harmony or this person and their shit. And so it's like, what do I do? Do I continue to deal with this person who is chaotic, right? Or do I can do, and that makes me feel like I'm the issue when I am not the problem. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like they do shit and then they make it out like you're the issue or like you need to change or it's something you did. Nah, hell no. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like you're you're trying to use your intuition about this person. Like, do I try with this person or do I move forward for my own peace? Let's see about your person, Gemini. Forgiveness and doubt. Okay, so this person is thinking, like, this person wants your forgiveness. Whatever they did to you, whatever, whatever, they want you to forgive them. But what they're thinking about is they're scared. They doubt that you're going to forgive them. Whatever this was that they did, whatever they put you through, this is what they're thinking about. They're thinking about this forgiveness they want you to forgive them. They want to be with you. They're nervous as fuck because doubt falls under this card here. So even though they want to come towards you, they want to ask for forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. There could even be some things that this person resents you about. Like they try to make it out like you, like you need to apologize to them. Like kind of narcissistic kind of type shit. Like you need to apologize to them. Like, they don't have nothing to be sorry. You need to say sorry to them. There's some kind of resentment here, right? But I feel like this person also knows at the back of their mind that they are the ones that fucked up. That they're the ones that are on that bullshit. And so they want this to come back together, but they're doubting that you... And that's where their anxiety is coming from. It's because they are so fucking worried and scared that you aren't going to forgive them this time. That this isn't going to go nowhere this time. That they truly fucked up this time, Gemini. Let's see what shadow work you guys are going through for the month of August. Forgetting oneself. See, spirit come through, right? You got forgetting oneself and your overall is spirit self. So for a long time, man, you forgot who you were when you were with this person. You know, you would lower your vibrations to be on this person's level you would 12 12 on the clock you would dumb yourself down and i don't mean like dumb yourself down like in a in an aspect but i'm talking about lower you know what i'm saying like try to act like something you were not if they and i mean like if they want you to do the like be Susie homemaker and cook and clean and you like to go out with your friends and you want to go out for a drink and they won't expect you to be here so you're trying to do what they want you know you're trying to be the good person or if they like to go out and you like to stay at home you're going out and having fun with them you know what i'm saying it's like whatever it is there's something that they continuously try to get you to change about yourself and so it was like you were constantly trying to be with this person wanted you to be you know because you love this person of course as women and men we do that we can we will conform to like what our men want because we want to take care of our men we want to take care of our women right but don't forget who you are in the process and that's the whole point of this reading it's like standing in your power remembering who you are being yourself disrespectfully you know what i'm saying hell Let's see what shadow work your person is dealing with. Don't forget who you are, Gemini. You are a queen. You are the shit. You know what I'm saying? Hell, don't try to be nothing you're not. Fuck that. That's why, like, when I'll be like, oh, I cuss a little bit too much, or I might be a little bit, you know, gutter or whatever. I don't give a fuck, like, what people think, okay? Fuck that. I'll be who, like, i am got to the point where if you don't like who the fuck I am, there's the door. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to change who I am, baby. I am motherfucking me too. And I think I'm the shit. Okay? Anger and chains. You see? This is your person's shadow work. They are angry. This person could literally call you names, put you down, fuck with your self-esteem. And this really seems like a karmic energy. I'm just going to be honest, Gemini, because it's like this person wants to stay chained to you. Okay? They want to hold on to you. This, excuse me, they do not want to let you go at all whatsoever. And they're angry that you are, you are standing in your power, that you are sticking up for yourself, that you weren't taking any less. But this person in the month of August, they are going to continue to try to hold on to you. And they're going to try to display anger in order to keep you there. Maybe say it's your fault. It's this. It's that. But this person, 
has a deep-seated anger issue, okay? And also, they're very manipulative, like, to the point where they know what to say to keep you drawn in, okay? Let's see. What's coming for this relationship, spirit, ancestors, and guides? What's for, coming for the Gemini in love in August, spirit, ancestors, and lies? In lies? I said spirit, ancestors, and lies. What the fuck? What the hell is what is coming for the Gemini's in, in um in August, spirit, ancestors, and guides? Let's see. So you might see, like, I feel like you're still going to give this person a chance because you love this person, okay? You guys might get away together, go on vacation, you know, just do something alone with the two of you to try to get this spark back, to try to, you know, like, you want to work on this. Regardless, at the end of the day, it's like you want to work on this partnership. You see something in this person. And I feel like you guys might be getting away, going on vacation or going away for a weekend and trying to work on this partnership. Rekindle this flame a little bit, okay? We have, for advice from the universe, we have the Ace of Cups, okay? A romantic relationship or deep friendship, a love letter, a new home. So this is a new beginning in love to me, though, too, Gemini. You might even have somebody new coming into the picture, though. It's like even though you want to work on it with this other person, intuitively you, you're feeling like, like, because you love this person, but intuitively it's like, I know this ain't good for me. So I feel like there is going to be, like, during this separation time, you're going to meet somebody new, Gemini, that might awake, like, give you a new emotional experience. You know, open up your heart. Um, because I feel like with the magician, you've manifested this, like you want true love. You want somebody that's really going to love you, appreciate you, be there for you, you know, where you could be yourself, right? Magic isn't alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest if you believe it, you can do it. So I feel like you've manifested this, this true love into your life. I feel like you've planted the seeds with that seven of, of pentacles, right? You've planted the seeds. You've done the work that the universe wanted you to do, okay? And your efforts are going to be rewarded in the future. But you have to have patience here, okay? It's a time for rest and planning. There's also a lot of unnecessary worry that's going on within you. You know what I'm saying? Stop unnecessarily worrying, okay? If you're scared to let this person go or whether it be with this person, I still feel like there's somebody new coming in that you manifested, and it's kind of going to be like um, a gift from the universe, a reward from the universe. Okay. All right, Gemini, that's what I have for you. If that resonated at all, uh, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, my loves. Peace.